Okay, right, so a real quick tip for you. I'm on my screen here and I'm moving origins to specific locations on faces. You often need to do this if you're working on, let's say, floor pieces like this. So I'm gonna go into local view with forward slash. We've got this ground piece here. Some point during the process, I thought it would be really optimal not to have the bottom. Now I do want the bottom on it so I can use the cell fracture add-on or whatever the reason happens to be. Perhaps you're printing it and you actually need a bottom to it. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna select this edge loop running round, just fill it in. Then I'm going to go over to my script here, which I'll show you in a moment, and we'll go Alt and P, and there we go. It's moved the cursor to this face and moved the origin to that location. And then when we come out, I can then use this piece, Alt D, duplicate it to the places that I need and rotate it to the right location. This means that I can use this object again and again without having to worry. I've got a few more to do. I did Aminara about whether it would be quicker to go back the other way and just redo it, but this has been far more optimal. Now onto the script, uh, and it also needs a bit of modification, so let's make this full screen and make it nice and big for you guys to see. First of all, we don't need import math utilities anymore. What we're doing is we're changing this window that we're currently in to the 3D view. We're snapping the cursor to selected. We're then going ahead and changing it from edit mode into object mode, so we're just toggling that. And then we're moving the object's origin to the cursor. Then finally, we're switching this back to the text editor so that when you run this script, which we'll do one more time, let's find a piece that we need to work on. I believe this one, we go round, we fill that in. I move my cursor over here and go Alt and P. There we go. It switches back to the text view. Then I can simply come out of there. And of course, you can add other things onto this as well. So I'm always going into um, local view in order to do this, in order to add that face on the bottom. And of course, I come out of local view at the end. So I could add that to the script as well, just to complete it. But I'm not going to at the moment. If you want to use this code for whatever, please do. Have fun with it, enjoy, and I'll see you all in the next one.